Welcome back. Well, where I left off, got all that tore out. I've got a sink on the floor, so I'm going to build me a frame that my sink can sit in, and I can scoot it right back over here and keep on keeping on with washing dishes and stuff. Just temporary. So let's get after it. So far, I've got the the ring screwed together. And I got my legs cut, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough 2x4s to kind of brace the legs together. Hmm. That might suck. I might have to come up with something else to make it stable. And just like that, I've got a kitchen sink stand. Now, I've got to take some leftover wood 2x4s and go back here and brace the legs and make sure they're nice and straight and level and squared and horizontal and all that fun stuff and just screw everything together with a couple more screws and I'll be operational with the kitchen sink again. Sweet. Kitty cat. Me in your box? Huh? <laughs> and here is what it looks like underneath the linoleum piece that was there on the floor it is very soft and mushy as you can see yep once this stuff gets wet it don't take much for it to turn into this <laughs> and I'm thinking the, the water damage is why this side of the wall is kind of like sunk down a little bit but we shall see the further I get into it. And this is easy. No effort whatsoever. <laughs> it's a good example of why I'm just not going to keep any type of insulation as far as the uh, fiberglass insulation in my trailer anymore what this is this is a bed for like squirrels or raccoon or could be anything could be a cat you know a little cat and uh yeah they just poop and pee all in this insulation it sits it's right underneath your floor and i'm just not I'm not down with that no more that's why i'm a bubble foil kind of guy okay i got this panel removed almost all the way i've got a get out from underneath of the wall here I got a stink suspicion I'm gonna have to put cut that bottom piece a wall off that way I can get underneath it the way I need to it's just I got a feeling this piece right here I don't really see a problem you know minus that part you know that's bad but if I want to replace it in a full sheet it means I have to move my little mini bar do I like it I don't necessarily like the way it looks, but man, I tell you, I use the crap out of it. As you can see, it, it holds everything I don't want to have to deal with <laughs> for the time being. So, I'm going to clean out all of my big heavy stuff on the inside. Just find some place to pile it, see if I can't move this big thing. It's going to suck because it, I know how I get. If, it, if I have to deal with all them damn screws and I can't get them out and they've, they're just assembled to where it's impossible to get them out and you can't pry these big 3 inch screws out hardly unless the wood's rotten I got a feeling I might be burning this bitch <laughs> it's a, that's going to suck I tell you what it took longer to drink a couple beers than it did to put this section of floor in why can't they all go in this easy you know, even though I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt because the, the old floor underneath this wall was so good, I just couldn't get it out. So I just, you know, I went in as far as I could do it and I put it in, it slid right in. I mean, this is the easiest one I've ever put in. <laughs> Why can't they all be like this? But yeah, I mean, it even lined up good. I mean, I didn't have any problem cutting it. Nothing was janky. But yeah, it was just, it was just nice. So now I gotta tackle this son of a blue tick hound. And it's gonna suck because I gotta clean off all this stuff, take everything out of it, and hopefully I can unscrew it from the floor, unscrew it from the wall. 
<sighs> this is gonna suck y'all i'm really not looking forward to it but i mean i could cut around it but i mean really is that gonna make is that really good no just a bunch of extra cutting trying to make it look right and then even if the floor is rotten over there i know the floor is going to be rotten over there so i need to take it out it's just procrastination definitely goes to show you manufactured homes are built to not come apart because <laughs> i've been struggling for the last two hours to get this little bar unmounted just from the wall and i don't know what in the hell is holding it unless they stapled it from the back side into the wall or what but the screws on the inside i've got them out and i just don't see what's holding this damn thing Oops. <laughs> Oh well, I, I don't have any words. <laughs> I think I figured it out. These shelves right here are covered by this paneling, top and bottom. So if you wanna unscrew the whole thing from the wall, you have to take this paneling off. So you're basically just destroying it anyway. How? dumb is that that's so stupid Well, I'm this far and I finally figured out why this thing would not move So here's this piece. I guess it's a one by it's screwed in with three trailer screws along with all this other Well, if I had pry bar, I could pry that up. I guarantee you there's screws every eight or ten inches all along every side of this thing So in order to take it apart You would basically have to dismantle it all the way down to the bottom so there's no way you can save it. It's just beat the sh crap out of it. And uh, yeah, it's a mess, stupid. Oh my goodness. Well, there she goes, folks. I beat to death my bar. <laughs> it's gone. I just don't understand why they have to mount, mount stuff to the point where you just cannot get it out without demolishing it. I mean, all the staples and the screws and then you can't get to the screws because something else is on top of it it's just a mess so now i can replace this one last major panel for the kitchen i've got another one over here in the far left hand corner but it's a little patch panel and i'm not real worried about it it's not a priority thing when i get another roll of the bubble foil it will become a priority because then i'm going to take up every board on this side and go ahead and lay down the bubble foil and put it down each panel is only held down by a couple screws it's not no big deal it'll be easy to take up put back so with that folks i think that's it that's it for this video um i'll let you guys kind of catch up on the next one so if you would please like and subscribe leave comments below i really appreciate y'all and i appreciate all you new subscribers you guys are awesome so i'll see you in the next video